what is going on guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to show you something that i'm very excited about i'm going to be building a whole system of biocouplers so i want to i have a standard uh, 18 by uh, 18 by 48 uh, inches um, uh, metal uh, shelving unit and on, e on each of these units i can fit 75 biocouplers so that means that on the configuration that I have right now, I can fit 300 biocouplers. I can add one more and then I can have 375, but I think 300 is way more than enough for what I do, want to do, what I want to can handle myself. Uh, so that's something that I'm very, very excited. I already have a 30 biocouplers, that, so that is a 10% of what I want to do. So Luz, let me just tell you a little about what I want to do. So I can fit 15 biocouplers going this way and five deep. So kind of my idea is that I can fit 300 but I don't, I'm not going to have like 300 different plants. So my idea is that I want to have five, like it's five deep. So I want to have the same plant like this. So I want to have 15 different types of plants of different species of plants. Uh, per shelf and they just going to go like that uh, so what I want to do is each month I want to do one biocoupler so hopefully in like five months that's enough time for me to move the plants to whatever uh, other types of media they need or just to, to deflash them so that will be um, something that that will be kind of like an ideal uh, situation I know some plants grow faster than other ones so some plants um, may feel the biocoupler in less than five months some plants may take longer than that but anyways uh, I already have a, I already have enough plants to fill all these biocouplers which are uh, 30 different species um, so that's something that I'm going to be doing here uh, next uh, I want to be working with a bunch of different plants you already know carnivorous plants aquatic plants However, I'm very excited because I want to start in next week, I believe. I in the next week or two, I want to be working with some of those uh, house plants that I know you you guys have been asking me for for a little while. So I want to be working. You already know some philodendrons, some of those come on, some of the 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 plants that come to my mind the first. Uh, some monsteras. I want to do some more herbal monsteras. The monstera that I have uh, that I did last year it didn't do too well. Um, I have a little bit of issues with uh, um, some bacteria, so I, en I end up throwing the plant away. I do have uh, some other plants that I'm very excited to, to start working with. I cannot wait to, to show you. I want to show you the, fo the full process. Hopefully I can do that, where I can just sterilize the plant, get it, get it established and all that kind of stuff. So that's something that you have to be patient with me because it's going to take um, it's going to take some time uh, from getting the plant sterile. It may not work on the first time, and then I have to uh, get it established in tissue culture, put it into the biocoupler, get it into multiplication media, and then potentially rooting media, and then the flask. So that's something a process that's going to take uh, several months and potentially over well over a year. So that's pretty much what I want to do next. Um, well, the first thing I want to do is I want to retire this uh, small flask. Uh, so I want to be upgrading into the bigger, uh, this is 8 ounces and this is uh, 16. Um, so just let me give you a little update. This is um, Nepenthes uh, Truncata and all the black that you see there is roots. It actually, it ha this Nepenthes have produced so many roots. I don't know, like a, I did something I would guess, I guess I did something right on the media where I have a bunch of roots. I still have a good amount of multiplication. So, uh, I mean, I'm happy with it. I guess I can um, add more BA or like a more kinetic, uh, which is a cytokinins to increase the amount of multiplication. But I'm really happy on the kind of the balance that I have of the amount of multiplication and the amount of roots. Uh, essentially, I can basically take these plants out of, out of here if, if I want to place them into use sphagnum moss, and they will be they will be fine. However, I still want to propagate more plants, um, so that's what I want to be doing next. I want to place not only these but all the other plants that I already have. You know, you already know the Heliamphora minor, 
also doing very well. Um, I have some Saracenia, I have some Sondius, and I have some um, Anubias, Darlingtonia, some Venus flytraps that I already have over there on the hood. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to be building this whole rack. Eventually it's going to get full. So my plan is that every month I'm going to be doing potentially about 20 or so per month. So this is going to take me um, a couple of months to fill this up. But I, I think this is going to work very nicely. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's probably going to, uh, that's going to be testing me to see how well the biocopters works in a way where I want to be doing this manual work. Because I only, so, so right now I have like about 10 biocopters, not all of them are full. So I have like uh, eight wheat plants and I move them uh, maybe two to three times per week. And I mean, that's that's not time for me. This doesn't take that long. Um, I like to do it. I like to inspect my plants. That's something that I really enjoy. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, make sure to check Plants of Technology where you can get all these biocoplers. Make, check, make sure to check my previous video where I did all the unboxing of this. If you want to, to see how they, they come, all the wrapping and everything. So that's everything for today. I want to be making some media. I want to be moving some plants. I have a bunch of tissue quarter to do next. So I will see you in the next video and goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.